Buying pottery can be pretty pricey, so why not make your own? Bob Green from Snow Farm is here to show us how. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. So behind us we have a start to finish product. Right. And hopefully we'll get somewhere in the middle of that today. Somewhere. <laughs> we'll see how well I do. All right. So you have already done the hard part for I've me. I've done the centering for Laura's pot or potential pot. And I'll demonstrate doing that. And I'll continue and I'll go through the steps that you see behind me, okay. which is centering, plunging, opening, and then finally pulling up and forming. Okay. All right, let's get started. So you're going to you plop I your clay on there? I start by plopping the clay as close to the center of the wheel as I can get it. Okay. And we're using electric wheels, uh, which came from Snow Farm, where I teach classes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first objective is to get this ball of clay exactly in the center of the spinning wheel. And takes a little bit of time, you need water. What I'm going to do is push down with my right hand into my left hand. Okay. And what's key or, or key is to try and keep your hands as steady as possible. All right. I'm, I have to be honest, I'm kind of glad you did this part for me. <laughs> yeah, this part looks easy, but it's not very easy. And the reason you need to do this is because the pottery that we consider to be good pottery is uniformly thick. So if you have an uncentered piece to begin with, it usually promotes a pot that's thick on one side, thin on another side, a little taller on one side, a little shorter. And all of those things can contribute to something being not very good. Oh, okay. So after it's centered, I'm plunging a hole in the center of the centered piece of pottery. And I'm doing that carefully, but I want my motions to be very direct. So once I decide I'm going to plunge, I plunge with my thumb. Okay, do it. Can I plunge? Well, you have to have the wheel spinning. Oh. And if you want to try doing that, <laughs> well, yes, you can do that. So I showed you how to use the wheel. Just push yes. down gently. And Is you can get it going a little bit faster. That's good. Okay, right you, there. That's perfect. And you need to get your hands and keep your hands wet. So okay. it's a lot of using water. Here I go. All right. Now I just. You're going to rest both hands on the outside of the pot, one on either side. OK. And where your thumbs meet, since it's a centered piece of clay, should be the center of the spinning lump. OK. So do I just push down? You're going to push down with your right thumb. All right. I'm pushing down. Now try and remember to be direct as you're doing this. So push, push, push. And if your hands start to dry out, you need to go back and get some more water. Okay. So what you're doing is pushing down and you're estimating that you're going to save about a quarter of an inch of clay at the bottom. So you're not pushing all the way down. Oh. You're trying to make it somewhat of an indented hole, but saving about a quarter of an inch of clay at the bottom. Okay. So you're... Your opening is a little bigger than mine. Well, my thumb's a little bigger than oh. yours, so that, that'll explain that. But if you push down further, and now the next thing I'm going to do is take several of my fingers, my right hand, okay. and with my left hand on the clay, I'm going to slide my fingers down into the center, and that's going to open that hole up. Whoa! Don't I, be afraid. I, okay, I'm not. All okay, right, here I go. Oh! Yeah. Am I doing it? That's great. Oh, I'm doing it! I didn't, honestly, I didn't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> this is only the beginning. <laughs> so the next step is actually to open up this lump of clay. And again, you want to do this somewhat carefully, but also in one fluid motion. Okay. So if you watch me, I'm All gonna right. brace with my left hand, and I'm cupping my left hand around this lump of clay. And with my right fingers, I should be able to get all my fingers except for my thumb in the clay, and I'm gonna squeeze the clay towards me. And I do that oh. very gradually, and that will determine the inside diameter of whatever it is you're making. Okay. So I just stick my hand in here. Yep, and keep your left hand on the clay. Okay. And, and you're gonna squeeze the clay towards, towards you. And it's gonna to start to move once you reach a certain point, because the wheel 
is exerting centrifugal force that's going to push the clay out. Okay. Am I doing this right? It's good. Oh, it's good. I got a compliment. <laughs> well, I'm a very positive person. Oh, okay. So maybe it isn't that good. <laughs> that's very good. So okay. once you have, have established the diameter of the piece of clay or the pot that you want to make, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to try and raise this clay up. And you're going to do that by, there's a sponge in your bucket. You can yes. use your sponge. And I squeeze most of the water out of the sponge. And I wrap oh. the sponge around my index finger of my right hand. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze on the right side with my sponge. And my left fingers are on the inside opposite the sponge. Okay. So I'm pushing in and against oh. my fingers on the inside. And once I start applying pressure... Oh, this part, this part is hard. Okay, now you try and <laughs> lift up. Well, this is where you have to practice. And very yeah. good, very good. So you can see the clay moving up. Okay, oh, now take that. a break. Oh, that's a weird shape. <laughs> Why don't you get some more water on your sponge? Okay, so we the, are going to keep working on this, but we have to head back to Seth, but me and you will stay here all right <laughs> we're gonna keep working on this very good <laughs> ahead on